Lake and Greg Vegan Camp, the 2nd of September 2022. Experimenting with seedlings with the sprouting pumpkins. There were four seeds here from a fresh pumpkin and only one sprouted so far. I'm, I'm very surprised of the low sprouting rate. Maybe because it's rainy season and yeah, I don't know. I am actually I'm very surprised that they are, the sprouting rate is so low. Freshly picked papaya. So the papaya season is coming up. These are quite rare at this time. Passion fruit season on the rise. The easy thing about passion fruit, you, you can just wait until they drop in the ground and just pick them. That's very cool. And this is how a longan tree looks like after a longan harvest and pruning, heavy pruning. Compost and charcoal. I've been experimenting with different kinds of insulation for the roof, uh, between the ceiling and the roof. And it really attracts, I mean it, it probably works quite well, but it attracts rodents, it attracts rats or roof rats or roof mice. Not so good, I need to get rid of it, unfortunately. Mulberry season is also here, so the mulberry dome is quite nice. And there's a lot of sun, it's easy to harvest the mulberries. Still have one mango hanging. The proudest papaya tree in the garden is here. Here is a very nice chili plant. It's like just below the papaya and it's just like producing a lot of chilies. And it looks cool and it looks nice and yeah, chilies are just such a nice thing to put in your food. And also, just take a green, green chili, and take a little bite and eat a banana. Wow. That's my latest, greatest recipe of the month. It's like a little bit of green chili with, with banana. Wow. Like strawberry shelf. Still our main source of greens. These chayas, steamed. Very nice, but both the leaves and the stems, except you eat the, the leaves and also the, the young stems, but the, 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 this part, okay, let's take this one out. So this part is hard. So we usually steam it and then just take and eat the leaf and then throw the rest. So only the leaf, so this piece we will throw away. And remember never to eat chaya raw because of the cyanide content. Temple dogs. Still under the vegan camp protection. Beans are still developing on the border. That's very nice. This is what I do every year. After the dry season ends, around May, June, I start planting pumpkin and beans. And these are like the things I really enjoy uh, to plant at that time because they grow really well and then they produce a lot of beans or, or fruit like the pumpkin fruit is just like one of the greatest things right now so it's really nice yeah it's one of the best achievements here for for August we harvested I don't know 30 40 pumpkins and we eat pumpkin every day steamed pumpkin or pumpkin soup it's just really nice then we have like a fill our needs of pumpkin and then wait for the next season for pumpkins it's really nice even though the pumpkin uh, <laughs> the longan season is over we still have some on the trees but some of them are really st still really good and some of them are quite tasteless or very very mild taste here's for example a nice pumpkin and this great pumpkin field among the mango trees it's just so nice and there's actually, uh, I think there's a durian growing there. Can you spot the 
pumpkin in the mango tree. And from the last compost, three papayas just growing by themselves. Just so low maintenance. I, I, I really love the low input and then you have like a high output of, of fruit and stuff. It's just so... I mean this is like papaya salad and fruit. It's breakfast and lunch for a very long time. It's really nice. And these are like beautiful. I didn't expect that they will grow like this well. And this one, this one is even very cool. It like grows like in an arch like this. I, it's a little bit scary because these roots cannot hold. This will, this, uh, this, this tree will collapse. But as you can see, when the arch is like that, it's also lower. Then it's much easier to harvest. Maybe if that that tree is smart, that papaya tree is smart, it will not grow too tall, and then it will not collapse, and it will bear a lot of fruit, hopefully for us. And I don't know if if this guy will will grow, but otherwise. Uh, we use these for curries or soups um, together with pumpkin, like mature pumpkin, and with these small pumpkins, it's really nice. The rats love to eat the pumpkins too, so we tend to harvest them a little bit early, because if we can find them, sometimes we, we cannot find them, and then uh, we find something like this, it's not so cool. And here you can see, this is a, also a mango tree, and you can see a small pumpkin popping up here, and we have a pumpkin hanging. This is the different tree from the other one I showed you just before. And, and this one probably rats cannot take because it's hanging there. So maybe I would like wait to, with harvesting this one. So let's see what happens. It's quite impossible to do uh, any weeding, like remove the weeds, so we just let the weed grow. Weeds. Weeds grow together with uh, with the pumpkin. The unfortunate thing with the weeds is that they block the vision of the pumpkins. But otherwise, they they tend to create a excellent ground cover and keep the water in the soil. So, and at the end of the season, we will just cut everything down. So it's uh, quite easy maintenance because there's no maintenance. We just leave everything as it is most of the time and then just the harvest can be a little bit requiring some some time here's a, a green one it's completely immature but this might grow into a big nice one after the longan harvest you can really see the longan tree house now made out of bamboo so the lower parts have been removed because of the the benches were completely rotting and being eaten by termites and not 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 termites yeah termites and also the powder post beetles and yeah a lot of ants like one of the biggest problems with with around here right now is that we we let everything grow and we're like organic growing thing organically is that we have a lot of black ants and of course, it's just very annoying in the rainy season because all the ants, they just want to move their houses and their eggs from from the ground into safer areas like tree houses and stuff like that and all the other buildings. So we don't really have a really nice solution except of like if they go in areas that are like very annoying, we need to somehow get rid of them. The fruit cage is very busy. I mean, we have bananas, <laughs> a lot of bananas right now. I mean, very. I mean, it's crazy how, how how many we have. And of course, inside the cage, fruit cage, we also have the, the pumpkins, so the rats won't attack them. And it's just like, yeah, it's just we we gave some some away, and yeah, the rest we will just steam and eat. It's just super cool, super nice. Yeah, the fruit cage from the outside. I'm trying to experiment more with uh, white potato. I'm not sure how well it goes here. It's not meant to grow in Thailand, I think. And this, in this bucket, there's sweet potato. So you can just see the difference of how sweet potato, like, grows from there and even, even goes into on the ground. And you can see it's like trying to root around here. So it's really nice. Maybe we'll have some sweet potatoes. Also very delicious. But sometimes you just wish you had some white potatoes. Yeah, living in Denmark made you like, like, uh, I just love white potatoes.